Well, I'm really excited about what we're doing because this is the first time that we really get to work uh, towards putting Chromebooks into the hands of many students. To um, address the fact that paper and pencil is something that they do use and they have used it many times, but when you talk with students and ask them, you know, how do you really compose? What is your best way to be able to create something? And a lot of them are engaged at a different level when they're doing it in a digital way. But ultimately, this is to make the learning experience much more um, fluid, engaging um, for our students. Uh, the more that we can give them tools that help them stay connected with the curriculum, uh, the better for the, the learning environment. When it comes to using technology in teaching and learning, there are some bright spots in Denver Public Schools. There are classrooms where students use technology to learn and create. Too many teachers default to teaching without technology at all. Many teachers are at a loss at how to integrate technology and digital tools. Teachers need a better understanding of what constitutes a good digital learning experience. So in this day and age, things are moving very, very quickly. Um, when I think about innovative education, I think about using new digital devices in the classroom to really enable the teaching experience. Innovative education to me means that you're never done trying new things, experimenting in your classroom and taking what works and sharing it around the world. Uh, this means students where they are. It's thinking outside the box, it's looking ahead, it's looking forward, is looking at students' needs and also what is going to be current uh, in, in, the field, in each field uh, outside of high school and college. New technology, um, keeping it fresh for uh, students and using that um, not only to engage students but to uh, help them increase in their content knowledge. Down to how do we keep the kids engaged using these digital, digital tools. I think there's many ways um, that you do that, but one of the big ways is coming to these conferences uh, for the teachers to come to these conferences and the principals so that they can understand in broader terms how they can actually integrate some of these newer technologies to keep the students engaged. So for me, digital age teaching and learning is using all of the tools at your disposal. Um, so whether it's Google Glass or it's your cell phone in your pocket, like you're using all of the right tools for research, for collaborating, um, rather than like tucking them away in the, <laughs> the locker or whatever. This is my third year at the conference. I love um, to see so many colleagues that, you know, we're all in the same business, if you will, to, to inspire students with, with technology. I've been attending for about six years, so I keep coming back mostly for the people. Um, I mean, the sessions are great, but the people around Colorado that are interested in education and technology are just so passionate. You know, I'm hoping to be, um, kind of be inspired by this. I just hope to learn some great new things. <laughs>